say, can you see by the dawn's early light? And the, but so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming. Whose broad? Whose broad stripes? And? See, yeah, I know the words. Whose broad stripes? Well, what your grandmother told you? She wanted me to go to, to, to uh, school. And what you said? I didn't want to. Why? I didn't want to. I was tired of them making me sing all the time. They knew you were good? I guess so. Well, you got more than the, uh, the Star Spangled Banner written on No, that's the rest of it. Oh, my God. She didn't sing all of that, did she? Yep. Uh-uh. No. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we so gallantly streaming, and the rockets rank where the bomb bursting in air gave proof to the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star spangled banner yet wear o'er oh, the land? That was great. What you think? Without any kind of other, other music, background music, it's not bad. No, I wouldn't think so. I mean, Sylvia, you rock. I rock? Yeah. I should have been more so dancing and singing. I had the body then, too. You did? Yes. Who do you think you favor? What movie star? What movie star did I like the way she sings? No, the, who do you think you look like? Oh, I know who. Everybody always told me who I look like. Um, what's that lady's name? Um, Lucille Ball. Lucille Ball? Mm -hmm. Really? That's what everybody used to tell me. My hair was red. Really? I don't think that's a compliment, do you? Yeah, it's nice. Who do you think you look like? Nobody. <laughs> you think I look like anybody? I don't know. Movie star. All I know is when I used to sing and I had red hair as a child, naturally strawberry blonde hair, they said I look like Lucille Ball. You didn't agree? I, I was so young, I really don't remember, to tell you the truth. You ever resemble Marilyn Monroe? No. Not mm -hmm. in the face, in the body. The body? Yes. You had the body of Marilyn Monroe? I would think so, when I was 18 years old. Jesus. You could have gone places. Everybody always said I miss my calling. You know what was your calling? To be an actress, to be a singer and a dancer. You think you could have ever been a stripper? No. Why? would have killed me. Well, she wouldn't have known. My grandmother would have killed me. All of them, everybody would have killed me. Would you have liked to have been a stripper? No. Why? I don't like that. I don't want to show my body. I don't care how great the body is. I never showed my body. I never wore. I never wore a bikini in my whole life. Why? Because I, my mama wouldn't let me. Your mama wouldn't let you wear a bikini. No. Huh. She wouldn't let me wear any kind of bathing suit when my boobs would hang out.
You always had boobs? Huh? I wish you could find that freaking picture. To show you this dress I had on with no bra. No bra? No bra. Your mama let you do that? She didn't know it. <laughs> it was my Aunt Lois's dress. And it was an umpire under the waist, under the under here. And it was all pleated across the front. You couldn't see your nipples or anything. Hope not. It wasn't that low cut either, but you could see my boobs sticking up. <gasps> really, really perky, 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 perky. Perky what? My boobs were perky. Oh, yeah? Yes. I could really seem better than this, but I'm going to wash right now. Hit it. One, two, one, two, three, four, go. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What's so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched was so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare, the bomb bursting in air, came through through the night. That our flag was still there. Oh, say does the stars bend, then I yet for the land of the free and the home. That was great. You think you could be in America's Next Idol? No way! You think you can go on uh, America's Got Talent? Mm -mm. You might be the next Susan Boyle? Mm -mm. Why? Because I don't think my voice is that great. I would have to, in other words, I have to go, I would have to go to, to singing school. You'd have to go to singing school? Yeah, I'd have to have an instructor. Yes. For how long? However long it lasts. Well, you gotta know. My grandmother was furious over a few things. First of all, she wanted me to go to college. Then, if I didn't want to college, she wanted me to go to singing school. I didn't want to do that. And then she wanted me to go to, oh, I did go to dancing. And then she said, if you're not gonna be anything else, then at least be a singer and a dancer where you can make a lot of money. And you never did either one? Nope. You became a gambler. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite. You know what another one of my favorite songs is? is by this, what's this guy named? Oh, um, God. He's got a bald head and he's, um... Len Greenwood? Yes. How did I know that? I like to sing, I, I like the way he sings about the green grass. Yeah, sing it. I don't know the words. I used to. Go print those words. Sing out. a Shania Twain song. I don't know any of the words to Shania Twain. Mmm, how tonight I gotta make it right. Have a really good time. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Gonna make some noise, really make some noise. Let it all hang out. Best thing about being a woman is her prerogative to have a little fun and whoa, ho, ho. It's totally crazy. It's driving me crazy. Shorts, skirts, men's shirts. Come on, Sylvia. I don't know that. I don't know that. That was the first song she ever sang. Where do you want to go? Huh?